Ho Chi Minh City is home to a countless amount of gay spas and Girl, let me tell you, if you're a gay man looking for some fun, you will get it when you're over here. Obviously, I can't show you any real footage of the interiors of each place, but I will be showing you official pictures and videos that can be found on each spa's social media and website. All right, now let's begin with undoubtedly the most popular spa here, Madame Spa. Everyone talks about this place. It's like the first thing that pops up when you type in Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, gay spa. It's like, it's like infamous. But is it worth your time? So let's go over the facilities first. Facilities include a sauna room, a a steam room, a salt room, Himalayan salt room kind of place, two jacuzzi pools, one is cold and one is colder, a shower area, a massage parlor area where you can book a massage and go up and have a massage, and a dark room cruising area. Now a good thing about this place is that upon entering you get either a free meal or a free drink. The meal changes depending on the day. When I went in they were providing a type of noodle and soup dish and as for the drink you either get a soft drink, a yogurt drink and I think that's it. But they provide other drinks as well like a coconut but then you have to pay extra for those. They also provide like a canister of tea that you can use to like you know pour tea for yourself. Another good thing about this place is that it's quite aesthetically pleasing. It's a very scenic environment and it's decorated as a classical Vietnamese interior. Like some of the rooms are dressed up and decorated with like antique looking things. So I think the main benefit of this place is that you can have the choice to either cruise around and you know just have fun with the locals that are there at the time or you can choose to get a massage with one of the local staff. And the staff here is generally pretty friendly but more on that later. And this massage itself is also relatively inexpensive but you do have to tip. And speaking of tipping, that's one of the first cons of this place. The tipping rules are kind of unclear. So a local that I met at the spa told me that he usually only tips 500,000 or less and they seem happy with that and that's according to him. The spicy things that he does with the massage is they give him a hand job basically. So take that as a general rule. If you are getting a hand job for your spicy surface at the massage, tip 500 around there. But if the masseuse likes you and you know you start doing more spicy things, tip more than 500. Speaking of masseuses, the staff there really ranges and some of them are even straight and because of that some of them can be kind of unenthusiastic when you ask them for a massage but yeah other than that everyone else is like super friendly to me i think if you're foreign they'll be super friendly to you but size wise they're more like average built there's like three very muscular dudes at the time where i went and the rest of them were like you know kind of slender to more average build maybe kind of a little twinky so they have a wide variety of bodies for you to choose from basically you can ask any staff member if they can give you a massage and they will likely say yes so don't be shy now one thing I don't like about this place is the cruising area. So the way the cruising area is set up is that there is a small flight of stairs and after climbing that flight of stairs there's like one floor and there's like one room per floor and that area is the entire darkroom area. But the problem is to traverse through the different darkroom areas you need to go up those stairs. So the second floor also has like you know another small private darkroom area and each darkroom area is kind of small so you're climbing up and down the stairs quite often and then during the weekends it can get quite congested and this view is kind of like a hassle to like cruise around in that space, in my opinion. Now speaking of the crowd, so this place is very popular. So the weekends and evenings are usually packed with people, especially weekend evenings. And the crowd is definitely more expat oriented. There's more expats that come to this place. And I feel like in general, the crowd is typically more older. But yeah, overall, I think this place is good to maybe like check once. It is a little bit out of the way of the city. So you're staying like, you know, in the center of Ho Chi Minh City, like District 1 or something, it's a little farther. But you know, if you've got time, I'd recommend checking out the place. If you want to just get a massage, with the staff, I definitely recommend coming earlier when it's less crowded because if it's crowded, the staff that you might like might be unavailable at the moment or is you know, busy servicing someone else and be, it's kind of a drag to wait around. So I would definitely recommend going earlier. But honestly, I feel like the massage is kind of average. And I mean like in general for all of these places in all of the gay spas, massage itself is just basically like foreplay. It's like gay teasing basically. Like don't expect like a physiotherapist level of knowledge from these masseuses. They're just, you know, local guys who are attracted Active and you know they're hired in to like rub you down. So yeah, if you come in with the mindset that you know the gay massage is just to kind of like please you and it's for foreplay, it's not actually for your muscles, then you know have that expectation in mind when you go to any of these spas. But yeah, I feel like your experience here in this place really depends on a lot of things. Depends on when you go, depends on the crowd there, depends on if the staff there at the time are enthusiastic and are interested in servicing you. So yeah, quite a mixed bag, but I would definitely 
recommend going to this place if you're looking for the option to either cruise around or massage and you want to experience both at the same time or you just want the option of having both. Next up is 69 Zone. Now this place is very popular with the locals and there are no massages here. It is purely for cruising. So your facilities include a steam room, a sauna room, a infrared room that's kind of like a sauna, a Himalayan salt room which is also kind of a warm place you can sit in and a Vietnamese herbal room. They're all like warm places that you can sit in. There's also a cold jacuzzi, a shower area, and a dark room space, which is where the fun happens. Now, the pros of this place is that this place is really good for just quick fun. The dark room area here, I feel like is a little bit larger than the one at Nadam, simply because it's a bit more mazy and more, there are more corridors to like hide into, I guess, uh, but it's less private. It's also great for just like meeting locals. Expats do appear here and there, but I feel like the majority of the time it's just like local gays. And definitely, I feel like every time I've gone, there's always at least like one or two hot people that are around. And by hot, I mean like a muscular dude who's kind of easy on the eyes. But you know, if that's not your thing, there's always also a lot of twinks that come. And typically the times that I do recommend going are either on the evenings or on the weekends or weekend evenings. Those times are the most congested times. In this place, they also provide some free water and they occasionally like give out plates of food, but the food is basically like white bread and like Vietnamese ham. But yeah, because it's the cruising area, your enjoyment really does depend on who's there at the time. But you know, besides the spicy stuff, it is also kind of a good place to network around. I've actually met someone who's now like a friend there just from like sitting in the sauna room and just like talking to each other. So yeah, good place to network, kind of. Mostly for fun though, mostly for like discreet cruising fun. And yeah, if that's your thing, definitely check this place out. The next spa that I've been to is called Nam Spa. Definitely the smallest of the bunch. And this place is definitely more focused on the massages. Your facilities include a steam room, a sauna room, two jacuzzi pools, and... That's it. There is like a small lobby area that you can kind of like walk around and I guess it can kind of serve as a cruising room. I don't think people really use that space to cruise, but yeah, I feel like people come here mostly just for the massages. Now I think my biggest gripe about this place is that the models, they don't look like their pictures. I definitely recommend and picking your masseuse when you come here. Because when I came in here, when I chose my masseuse, I was honestly quite shocked at how different he was in relation to his picture. And that's not a bad thing per se, it's just that I wish they were more honest with the depiction of the masseuses. And just to note, the massage staff here, they're more on the slender side. So they're kind of like my size, I guess, maybe a little bit more slender. There's some who are like a little bit larger, a little bit chunkier. At the time when I went, there is one pretty muscular dude, but yeah, the rest were like, like my size, I guess. Now this place has more massage options than in a damn spa, but I feel like it's a little bit more expensive. But the good thing here is that you don't have to tip, at least according to my local friend who booked this place for me. But yeah, even though this place is more massage oriented, I feel like the massage was basically slightly better than a damn, if not pretty much the same. Like again, as I said, don't go to gay spas if you actually want like a real thorough massage. Actually, if you're interested in having just a massage with no spicy business and you just want to have your muscles feel good, or just to really decompress and de-stress your body, I recommend actually going to Katmo Spa or Miu Miu Spa. Both places are very well known for just having good massages. Miu Miu in particular, like there's a lot of Taiwanese people who really love going to this place. Katmo Spa also really good. Every time I go, there's always a group of expats there and I always meet some like new, cool, interesting people. So yeah, check out both those places if you want like a real massage. Again, back to Nam Spa. I feel like my biggest gripe of this place is that they're kind of deceptive when it comes to their massage staff. And I don't like that. But do you know who isn't deceptive? MB Spa. Now I am so excited to talk about the spa. And this ain't sponsored by the way. This is a newer spa that opened like maybe a month ago. And there's no cruising area here. This is just massages. And I think your facilities include a sauna room and I think that's it. And you know, some showers. But I really like this place. All of the guys here are like slender to like fit and muscular. And I like this place because upon walking in, I've noticed that the guys actually look better than in the pictures that they provided. Or at least the guy that I ended up choosing, his picture was, you know, okay. But then in person, he was quite, quite decent. <laughs> But I think the best thing about this place is their attention to customer service. So just to give you a picture, in my experience after booking massage and after doing the massage, my masseur was actually very nice to me. Like even after the massage was done, he was very willing to just talk with me and like just to chill out and overall just like be friendly and actually try to get to know me. And then afterwards he led me to the showers and then we actually like, you know, took a shower together, which I thought was like, that doesn't happen in any other spa. And like he took extra attention to like, you know, wash me, to lather me and then he actually like dragged me up as well like it felt like he like he was basically just treating me like a prince and that just like took me way off guard like that never happens and the whole time he was chatting and he was being friendly and it never felt like something that he was supposed to do it felt like something that he wanted to do you know what i mean overall it felt like i had like a, a 
boyfriend or like a really, really intimate handmaiden or something for like 90 minutes. And after the massage was done, basically after I got changed, I was ready to leave. The owner approached me, he offered some herbal tea, and he was just also really nice. He was just asking me about my experience here, how the massage staff was, how I thought about the whole place, and my experience, and my satisfaction, like basically everything. And like you can really feel like the owner really cares about your experience here. And that kind of care kind of permeated my entire experience going into the spa. Like this is a place where like my needs were placed above all else. Like they really wanted me to feel welcome and they wanted me to feel not loved. Loved is not the right word, but they wanted me to feel appreciated while I was here. Other places preach about customer service, but this place actually practices it. Now I will say it might be just because the place was newer at the time and they were really desperate for like more customers. And maybe my massage person just really liked me in particular and that's why he treated me very special. That could be a factor, but that doesn't like take away from my experience here. Like it was a very good experience. Like I was very surprised that level of care that went into taking care of me. I would highly recommend coming here. I haven't gone again since my first time. Maybe things have changed then, but my I can't deny that my first experience there was really, really great. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a massage with spicy surfaces, go to MB Spa. I really hope they treat you the same way they treated me because I felt special as fuck. Now, if you're looking for just some pure, discreet, no-nonsense fun, you don't need no massage or anything like that, you just wanna like get down with the locals and you know get your dick sucked or whatever, go to 69 Zone. Now, if you're unsure as to where to go and you want the choice to just cruise around and mingle with the locals, and, or if you just wanna have a massage, you can't make up your mind, and you just wanna relax, have a nice place to kind of walk around, go to Ned Down Spa. That's what that place is best for. And yeah, that's it. That's my review of all the spas that are quite popular here in Ho Chi Minh City. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a pleasant stay here in Vietnam if you're coming over. Bye.